Hello everyone, welcome back to the Oaks. I am heading back, if you remember the end of the last episode, we had just had a look at our potato equipment, uh, but I've made a bit of an exec decision here. We are going to do this spraying contract first. The reason being, remember Davey was doing that ploughing um, last episode as well, so he's starting a bit later today because he finished very late at night. So. In the meantime, I can probably get this done. I could do with somebody hauling a trailer for me when we're doing the potatoes, because it's going to cut down the amount of time it takes us to do stuff quite considerably. So this spraying job is a very easy one-man job. So um, we'll park up here. We'll get into this monster. I'm intrigued as to why it's got jewels on, but um, this is what he's given us. And here is the crop. A huge field, this very very big so um it may take us a bit of time but we'll see how we get on it's a nice looking crop there in between the weeds though so if we can clear these weeds out we're gonna have a very happy farmer because uh, it's gonna really kind of stop strangling his crop and uh, let it grow much better now he's uh, willing to pay us quite a lot of money for this as well which is quite good so let's just have a look at the contracts and remind ourselves of those again there we go, a massive 67,000 for doing this field. Now there is a bit of a reduction for using this equipment, but um, hey, it still makes us a good amount of money. Uh, and then our nemesis, the potato field. Like I said, quite a big long job to do that. So uh, I'm gonna be welcome of the help from Davey on that one. But in the meantime, let's get this very uh, large boomed sprayer out and let's get on with this job and see how long it's gonna take us. I'm looking forward to driving this Case Magnum though. A beautiful tractor. Absolutely fantastic. Look on the inside as well. Yeah, very nice modern tractor, which is a, a nice change when you've been driving around in those uh, in those old things like the County, the MB track and everything else. It is nice to have something new and modern. We've been lucky with the tractors we've been given by some of the other farmers recently, so... Um, Let's have a go at this and see how we get on, shall we? Let's just get ourselves into position. Get the booms unfolded. Just see how big the sprayer is, actually. And we'll take things from there. Right, there we go. Um, this sprayer only runs at uh, 7 miles an hour. So it's going to take us a little bit of time from that perspective. But you can see where we have removed the weeds so far that's going to be the big benefit here is we'll be able to see where we sprayed and where we've not so um we shall crack on for a little bit and see how we get on um 97 so it's not going down particularly fast um and we do have a re refill uh bowser just sitting outside the field as well so we'll be able to top it up relatively quickly um i think just one lap of the field will do for headlands as well because of the width of the booms uh, we'll do a little overlap on the edges just to make sure we're catching all of the weeds but um, yeah I think uh, just the one pass will do and then it's a case of cracking on with the up and down rows um, a lot of weeds on here this is probably why we're driving so slowly actually um, to make sure we get good coverage on the weeds and make sure that we don't miss anything because uh, if it was just light shame it's not spot spray although that wouldn't make a difference in this field either because they literally are the entire field is covered um, so we have to get rid of all of these so as you can see the field stretches right off into the distance there see the haze it is really really big this field so um, I don't really have an ETA for how long it's gonna take I mean it's early in the morning here uh, we're only at 9 a.m. so um, it's gonna uh, it's gonna take us a bit of time but then that's okay just putting off the inevitable which is jumping into that uh, potato harvest so until we have to worry about that we'll crack on and we'll get this field done so we'll come back and we'll see you in a little while
Well, folks, there we go. We are just finished in the field here. Taking a bit of time to do that, but as I said before, a well worth contract. Just worth so much money that it was just a no-brainer to do it. And it was pretty relaxed, actually. I've got to say, the ability to see where you'd been before versus after made it a very relaxing contract to do. Would have been nice to go a few miles an hour faster, but c'est la vie, you can't have it all. Right, that's going to go back to the farmer, and we are going to jump in the landy over here. And we're going to go and head up and start on the potatoes. Now, it is a bit early still. It's only 10.57 um, in the morning, so Davy isn't going to be at work anytime soon. So we are going to have to get started on our own, but it is what it is, right? At least we'll be further into it when Davy arrives. Now, um, while we are here and looking at the Land Rover, I've got to say a big thank you to TD5 Badger who dropped me a note this week in the comments of the other video and offered me a very handsome £12,500 for this Land Rover. Um, here's the note that he left me, uh, but looking to ship it over to the US in a couple of months and he can get all of that arranged. So, fantastic. A little bit of extra cash in the bank as well. Um, I'll take him up on that. I'll miss this though. But, at the moment, money's money, right? We'll take whatever we can get. So... On that note, we will look after it for the next few days uh, before it goes. And uh, we'll head up to the potato field and see what's what. So, we'll see you up there. Right, here we are. We are close to the field now. Um, I am... I have no idea how long this is going to take, if I'm being honest. Um, I know potatoes take a while, and we only have one trailer as well. It's not like we're running with a load of trailers, so um, I think what we'll what we'll do is probably find out very quickly. We'll maybe use uh, a little bit of information to find out how long the field is going to take us. But um, there's the vehicle down there. We'll go and get into it, and uh, we'll just start. We'll see what happens. Right here we go. The Grimmy Eventor 4150. Don't know how big the hopper capacity is in this as well. So, um, and I've never driven one of these before, but I guess it's just like a combine, isn't it? <laughs> he says, with a uh, awkward, with an awkward laugh. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Wish us luck. I've got to say, I'm already impressed with how agile it is. With the rear wheel steering as well, that makes it very, uh, very efficient. Right, let's get it all unfolded. Let's see where everything goes. We do have a hopper there. Well, that's good. So it will retain some potatoes. Um, now it looks like... With that auger out, it looks like it would probably make sense to go counterclockwise around the field. My only challenge here is that it's going to be hard to get the tractor in alongside with all these trees along the side. So, um, I don't know what to do. Um, I think I'll go. I think I'll try counterclockwise so we can unload the tractor and see how we do. It causes trouble with the trees. We might just have to uh, think of another way of doing it. Right, we're in and moving. Looking good. And the hopper is starting to fill. Now, it does look like we have got enough space alongside these trees. So this was the right decision to make. Well, it is for now, anyway. Those potatoes are filling up relatively quickly. Though, 10% in already, so I wonder if we're likely to get around the field before this hopper's full. It's bigger than I thought it was though, that hopper. Which again is a positive. So, um, I think it's a case of just cracking on now. Seeing how far we get before it needs an unload. And then we'll go and unload it. Right, I've just reversed back to this little bit of green space. Just in the edge of another field here. Because I'm going to need to get the trailer in now. We've got a full load in here. I um, wonder if we can get through this gate actually 
Um, yeah, we're about as far as we could be from the road, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we'll work it out. But um, we've got a full load. We've got our first full load. So let's go and grab the Kubota and let's uh, get round here and get it into the trailer. There it is, the little Kubota. Not a tractor I've used a lot, but this little M7 looks nice. So let's jump into this and see where we can go with it. It's pretty straightforward inside. Let's fire it up, okay. A little welcome screen there. Right. All systems go. But now, before we go any further, though, I am going to collect the other contract. We haven't done that yet. So let's get a little bit more money in the bank. So there it is, field 62 spraying, £67,039. Now, if we click on this, it was a 15, nearly 16,000 for the leasing costs for the vehicles. Um, that's deducted from the farmer from using his own equipment. But we are going to get 3,900 back because uh, we funded the herbicide. So all in, that £55,049 for um, pretty much an hour and a half's work. It's well worth the money, isn't it? So we're going to take that, and then we've got 23000 for the potato. It almost feels like the potato one is a bit on the cheap side, to be honest. The amount of effort we put into that one for that amount of money is crazy. So we'll keep an eye out for another few spraying contracts, I think, in the future. But let's collect that. There we go. And we are a mighty 6% into our potato harvest. Right. Let's get on with it. There's the money into the bank straight away. So we've just jumped to 121,000. That is insane. I will take that every day of the week. Now, I think this is the entrance to the field. Now, I could go in here and run right around the outside of the field. But that seems silly. I think there was another entrance down here, which we will try and utilise. And that should avoid us having to do that lap of the field. Now, I don't know what my capacity of this trailer is. I don't know if we can get more than one load out of the potato harvester into this trailer. We'll find out when we get up there. Here we go. Now, judging by this trailer, it does look pretty big, doesn't it? So we'll see, even though the tractor looks relatively small. Left the engine running. But there we go. I think this could be a 20,000 litre trailer, to be honest looking something like that at the moment so it doesn't look like there's going to be any spare space in this maybe it's 22,000 something like that but not enough to wait for a second load I don't think this is why we need Davey here this is 100% why Davey needs to come and help us there we go 22,000 100% full and what's left in the hopper there's a little bit left in the hopper Oh, look at that. Just a mere 343 litres left. Okay, so it is a, a pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio harvester to trailer. So we're just going to have to make it work, I think. Right, I'm going to show you where this is going as well, because actually it's not a bad little run. Right, let's run these down to the cell point, And you can see where we're getting rid of them. And then it's a case of pushing on for as long as we need to. Ah, perfect timing. That looks like Davy on the phone. Hello, Davy. Hello, FSG. I'm awake and up and about now. Where do you want me? Well, if you want to... Your timing couldn't be better. If you want to just head up, um, maybe meet me at Field 96. I'm about to just drop the first load of potatoes off. But uh, after that, the tractor's all yours. Perfect FSG, I'll see you up there, no worries. Well, that's brilliant. Um, if Davy's coming up just now, that means uh, you've got this sorted. It's just a case of cracking on with it and seeing how long it's going to take now. So, let me get this tipped and we'll head back to the field. So here we go, we're at the market garden here. Um, they sell a lot of potatoes a lot so um which is good because i think we might be seeing quite a lot of this field but there we go first load tipped we'll head back to the field and uh, davy will pick up and run the tractor from here on in right we're on to our second pass now 
uh, and Davy has arrived back in the field. I think we'll get all the way round to him as well, which is great. Um, and then we'll see where we go after that. There's still not a lot of space on the outside to get the the uh, the thing unloaded yet. Uh, we do with cutting in. I've gone for quite a lot of headlands before I uh, go on to the up and down rows, but uh, so far so good. Dare I say it? I'm enjoying doing potatoes. Look at that, 95%. As we're here, we should just load Davy back up and then we'll keep carrying on. And now this is where things should work well because Davy should be able to dump this load and be back in time to refill without us having any downtime. That's the plan anyway. Let's wait and see what happens. All right, there we go. You should be able to see Davy just over there passing by quite a high hedge, you might not be able to see him, but uh, he's running off with that load of potatoes. And I'll keep pushing on here, 14% in the hopper, so we'll see how much is in the hopper when Davy gets back and it's the time to kind of get over to us. But here we are at 71% and Davy has just arrived back in the field, so... I'm very confident, as we get through this field, that things are going to continue to improve. Now, he's just got to get to us, so he's going to have to rattle around the edge of the field. You can see he's heading over there. Now, look, we've got our lights on just now. So any second now, we should see Davy roll up, hopefully, behind the harvester. I'm not sure if he's going to run alongside, where he just tracks us until um, we're full and then pulls alongside not done this before so it's all new to me there he is though over in the distance 87% just now looks like he might roll up alongside us typically at the point at which we're about to get to a corner no, no he's waiting he is waiting 92% we will roll around here you'll see we cut this piece out here um, to help with loading but there we go 97% so we are going to be done just now so we will stop and he will join us I think that's what's going to happen there you go we are on 100% now we've just powered down we'll wait for Davy just to roll underneath the um, spout here, which it looks like he's about to do. And that will be his trailer full, and he'll head off, and we'll, um, we'll be able to keep going without him. So downtime definitely kept to a minimum here. There we go. All done now. What's David going to do? He'll probably just loop round and head out of the field in a minute. And we'll crack on, keep you doing these uh, these headlands. Like I said, I'm aiming for about seven. That should give us enough space to then be able to turn. This is a long machine, so it's going to take ages to turn it around. But yeah, there goes Davy turning around. He's off. And we'll keep harvesting.
Well, as we fill up again and wait for Davy to roll underneath and uh, unload, this is going really well, I've got to say. I'm really quite enjoying this. Once we got that first headland out of the way, it was a little bit tight because the machine's so massive. This has been uh, plain sailing. So, um, we'll keep going, I think. It's going to take a long time, though. Like you see, we're probably only on the fifth headland now. Um, and there's a lot still to go. So, I think on this note, I will say thank you very much for watching. Um, who knew I like potatoes? This bodes well. This bodes well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series still. I certainly am having great fun putting it together. So, uh, thank you for all the support. And I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.